You served in the military. Did, and your whole family served in the military, right? Mm-hmm. What did, uh, how was your experience in the military? Um, it was okay. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't do anything like, I wasn't like a combative role. Yeah, you weren't a fighter. I wasn't a fighter. So I didn't have anything like crazy mm. to tell. But, um, I don't know. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a mandatory job that you have to go to. <laughs> and you don't get paid for. Yeah. Someone said, is it like a forced vacation? No. No. It's more like a forced job. <laughs> forced job. Because you, what, what did you do? What was your role in the military? Um, at first, I was given a role that was like in an office uh, somewhat close to my house in Tel Aviv. Mm-hmm. And it was kind of like going to a day job in an office. Mm. Um, it happened right after there was some kind of a second war in where was it in I Gaza. remember that yeah there was some sort of a s- small war yeah when i was there and um so my job <coughs> was to like when they send officers or like people to go serve i had to like logistically help with like their hotel or mm. a room okay. things like that but it was all on the computer it just felt like some computer thing. Right, okay. So like, secretary. Yeah. Interesting. And it was super boring and I really hated it. Because it was just like <coughs> I had to take an, a bus super early, mm. go there, spend the whole day, go back home. I hated it. So I tried to change my role. And um, it was something like you can apply for it and it's a form that you fill out and then they're going to give you something else, completely random. Different no position. Mm-hmm. Different post. Yeah. Different location. So I decided to do that. And if I don't like the second one, then I'll just find a way to get out of the army. It was I, that bad. Yeah. I just didn't, I hated everything about it. Didn't oh. want to do it. Um, you just, because if you're doing something that it felt like I wasn't doing anything, like I was just wasting my life. Yeah. It could get really frustrating. I don't know. Right. And you got to do it for two years. Right. So I tried, I filled out that form and I tried it. And then I somehow ended up in a better place that I liked mm-hmm. a lot more. Mm-hmm. Um, <coughs> before it was a daily thing where you go back home every day. And the new one was in a way that was a, a base that was far from my house. Mm. So you go there for the whole week and then you come back for the weekend. So you preferred that? Were you gone for a whole week? I did. It Interesting. Was, Why? It was kind of like just more of an adventure, huh. more of a different experience that I preferred than to just go to a boring job, sit on the computer and go back home at the end of every day. I don't know. Were you doing secretary work there? So, yeah, I was the secretary of the head of the... Um, there's like a... I don't know the terms in English from the army. Right. He was a translate. officer. So there was a, I was in Duhifat, which is like a, like a brigade, mm-hmm. I guess, that's in charge of the <coughs> area of Ramallah. Mm-hmm. And that brigade has like a main officer. Mm-hmm. So I was his secretary. Okay. So you were right below the big boy. Mm-hmm. Cool. So it was nice. It was Did interesting. That come with- mm. Um, it was more demanding in a way, but also <coughs> kind of more rewarding because you're put in this weird situation hmm. where you're like, you don't, you're away from your house. You have this new group of people that you have to get along with. Hmm. And I, it's hard to explain, but for some reason it was more interesting. Hmm. I enjoyed it more. You told me once you went on like a mission with them mm-hmm. to like a terrorist city. Yeah. That was kind of a crazy story. Yeah, the so the, my officers and like the the soldiers in that brigade, um, they would go every night on a raid, right, in Armada to to arrest terrorists, and um, so I always saw them preparing for it and leaving, and then I I would stay in the base, mm. 
So one time I wanted to go with them just to experience it. Why? You just were all of a sudden had an urge to go with them? I just wanted to see what it's like. Right. I wanted to see it. Okay. So, um, it, yeah, they took, him, they took me with them one night even though they weren't supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> Did they armor your ass up? Um, you're driving in this, like, jeep that's uh, bulletproof. Right. So I was in the jeep. Mm -hmm. And then um, <coughs> as soon as we entered Ramallah, the people in the city started shooting us. Wow. And I heard like a bullet hit the jeep like right next to my head. <laughs> did you, did it like dent or just no, you, you just it? hear it? It's a gnarly armored jeep. Mm hmm. Okay. And I mean, it was just interesting. <laughs> they were shoot. so someone actually was shooting the car when you went in there mm -hmm. right away. Yeah. Huh. Did you have a gun on you? I didn't. You were not supposed to leave. No, yeah, not really. Did but even if I, I mean, I I walked with them to one house. Okay. I did get out of the car once, but but surrounded with them. So. Okay. Did they arrest anyone that night? They did. Did they bring it in the same car with you? No. Oh, different you go, car. There's a few cars going. Damn, that's crazy. Was it like how did you feel? Was it horrifying? It was strange. Very, <coughs> very weird. How so? Like how so? Um. <laughs> I don't know. Just you see people in their house, and then it's like the soldiers go just walk into their house and look through their shit and find guns, and <laughs> the whole thing is really surreal. 